Hey mamas, today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm just gonna share with you some great homeschool books and resources that I picked up from various places. So let's get right into it. I was going to Costco to get a few things for a friend of mine and lo and behold, there was this enormous section. They had normally have a book section and it was like covered with books and fun resources for kids. One of the first things that I saw were these readers. And so they had a ton of different kinds. They were like bear steam bears, little critters, but this was a great find because the series that I picked up, so the first one was Pinkalicious and my kids absolutely love that show and those books. So we got some of those and these are I Can Read books, beginning readers level one. And if you've ever gotten these books before, the levels are a little, it depending on where your kid is at with their reading. For us, it's a little off. I think these are really suitable for my oldest who is going into third grade, um, but I definitely wouldn't have gotten it for her when she was in first grade. So it really just depends on your kid. And then the other one was Fancy Nancy and My Little Pony. The next book, which is going to be for my son who is two and a half going on three in July, and it's my huge book of colors. <laughs> so I was recently thinking about getting a book like this for him because I want to start teaching him more about his colors and we really haven't done that kind of work yet. Most of the stuff that we've been doing is like um, play and practical life things. We have a book right now that does do a lot of naming. It's like my first hundred words or something like that. And it does have shapes and colors and things like that in it but it doesn't tell a story or it doesn't really have anything to it except for the actual name of the thing. So I thought this was great because it actually like talks to you and it says things like, hi there, I'm Red, let me introduce my cousins. Magenta Red, Car Carmine Red, Vermilion Red, and it just kind of like, it's so cute. They take on like a persona. This is such a cute book and I am so excited to use it with him. When I saw this, I could not help myself. I needed to get it. And that was two Dr. Seuss books. They had a bunch of them. And the one is The Lorax, and the other is Horton Hears a Who. Next thing from Costco is this My First Steam Words Library. And this comes with eight nonfiction board books. And they fall under different topics. So this first one is nature words. And then we have engineering words, mathematics words, technology words, science words, ocean words, which I'm always excited about. I love all things ocean, so especially sharks. And then last but not least, art. Now the thing that you'll notice about these books is that they are actually naming books. So we have all the different names of transportation on this page. And then flying, so rockets, cockpit, weight, thrust. These are all very good technical words. And it looks like it's geared towards younger crowds but it really does give you a good picture of what these things are. And so I think it would be pretty suitable for all of my kids, especially when we're looking at doing different unit studies that cover these particular topics. I've got two more scores from Costco. This first one, I saw it and I was like, oh, I really want this so bad. It's definitely a splurge and it is all about the human body. One of the things that this comes with is a model of a skeleton. And I looked this up on Amazon because I was like, you know what, do I really need this? And when I saw the price on Amazon, I was flabbergasted because this whole thing costs $16 and it comes with a bunch of things. And on Amazon, this was selling for like $12 in and of itself. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a good buy. The next thing that I'm seeing here are different cards that have all of the different parts of 
like the anatomy. So we have cells, intestines, and then we have a reader in here, which is fantastic. It's a level two reader. I like this because it goes right along with all of the different content, contents that are in the box. This will be good for um, my older two kids to take a look at as we're going through this unit. And then we have a poster that has, it's double-sided, so we have the skeletal structure on one side and cardiovascular intestinal structure on the other side. So this is kind of more like a free play activity and the child will just kind of take the sticker. So these are all the different free play stickers that it comes with and they put it on the different parts so they match it up to the actual parts on the body. Finally, we have a book, it's called The Human Body and it gives you more detail. So this is more something that I would go through with them together and we will use this again as a way to kind of divide all the different topics within the human body unit study that we'll do. I also did get this get ready for first grade book and it has 463 activities for my rising first grader and it covers reading, spelling, vowels, numbers, all kinds of different things. And I got it because I just thought it would be such good work for her to do, especially as we're nearing the summer season, to just practice. So this is really something we're gonna treat as a workbook and she's already started to work through some of it. So it has all the different sections here so it'll be easy for her to kind of skip around um, to different things. And so we have spelling, reading, and then we have numbers, and then doing other types of different things like money and time. And then we have science and kind of social studies in the back. The last Costco item I'm sharing, which is actually the first that I grabbed, was this Get Ready for Preschool by School Zone pack. And it's adorable. You can kind of take this with you anywhere. It's like a little suitcase. When you open it up, it has a bunch of books that you can use for tracing and some crayons, a little eraser, a clock, which I thought was fantastic. On the other side is coloring cards and then some stickers up here. And these are tracing cards on the bottom here. Then it came with flashcards. So we have colors and this also has shapes mixed in. And so it has the actual thing in the front that the child needs to identify and then what it is on the back. And then we have a dry erase tracing book. So it's tracing fun, write and reuse. And then finally we have the Little Thinkers book. Now I wanna share with you the rest of the items which are all from Target and specifically the Target Dollar Spot, our beloved Target Dollar Spot. We all know that at the beginning of the school year, Target Dollar Spot is filled with all kinds of learning resources and books and materials, all the things, but it's a little bit harder to find those things after that season has passed. However, I managed to find two things that I actually was looking for to begin with, and that is this Bug Science, um, flip through learning book, and then we have butterflies of the world. The great thing about this is that it's not just one-sided, it is two-sided, and it goes through lots of different types of bugs. So we have lace wings, mosquitoes, butterflies, silverfish, termites, and then on the other side, walking sticks, stick bugs, stink bugs, rhinoceros beetles, moths, oh my, there's so many different ones. And then this one, which I haven't opened yet, is going to go so well with our unit about the life cycle of a butterfly. The next couple of resources aren't learning resources, but they are great for storage and for displaying different activities and things like that. So the first one I got was this wooden riser. And I think typically this is used for um, displaying plants and things like that, but I'm hoping to use it for displaying activities for our unit studies. And then next is like a round tray. This one is, I guess, something you could use for, again, like plants, succulents, or something like that. But I am using it for our unit study on ladybugs, and so I have these identification cards here and our Safari LTD figurines inside. So 
as we are going through this, I have this out for the kids to kind of explore. The next couple of items are specifically for storage. Right now, Target has a ton of little baskets and things like that. And I saw this one and I thought it would be great for my son. So right now we are doing kind of a pseudo morning basket situation that can do a future video describing exactly how that works for us. But he didn't have one so I saw this and it was small enough because I don't think I'm gonna pack it full of stuff for him. And then the next couple of things I just could not pass up. I have these really cute little like acorn looking baskets and one of them is uh, in, in a mint color and then another in white and another in this like teal blue color. They were so cute. Right now what I'm using it for is storing some Play-Doh. So two of these have Play-Doh. And then this one in particular, I'm hoping to put on my son's shelf and have it as kind of like a fun little surprise basket where he opens it up and whatever it is that we are studying or you know learning about for that week. So let's say if it's like things that begin with the letter B. You know, I'll put all kinds of things that begin with the letter B in here and maybe I can like change it out through like across the different days. So maybe one day I'll have like bells in it and then another day I'll have little buses in it, something like that, I don't know. All right, mamas, I hoped you enjoyed seeing all these different resources and maybe kind of get an idea of what to look out for whenever you're at Costco or Target this season. Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.